Hello and welcome to today's unboxing video. Um, today I'm going to unbox the Book Voyage March box. Um, if you don't know, Book Voyage is a monthly subscription box. Uh, you get a book, a couple of bag tea bags, and a snack from a certain country. And every month it's a different country. So let's see what country we got this time. Well, let's open this up. Is that it? Yeah. So let's see what we get. Ta -da! Oh, it's India. So the first thing I see here is the bookmark. Every month you have a bookmark from uh, with the country on it and usually some site or a, an animal or just something that you would connect to this country. Like this month, India, you get the Taj Mahal. There you go. The next thing you get is the card where everything is written on it, you have everything to the book, everything to the tea, and an explanation to the bite you get. And it's always the flag of the country. So that's what it looks like now. Let's open this up. <clears throat> so I'm going to take out the bite first because that one looks really strange. It's called Nisha's World Selection Bombay Mix. And I'm not sure if these are like noodles or something. Let's see. It's flour noodles, um, peanuts, green lentils, wraps, rapeseed oil, salt and spices. Do you just eat them like this or do you have to cook them? I guess you just snack it like this. Let's see what it says on the card. Okay, the bite is called Chefta Bombay Mix. Um, called differently throughout India and the world, this widely popular Indian snack has become a household staple in the West. Among Indians, every family has its own recipe and is traditionally eaten between meals, with tea in the afternoon or nibbled long into the evening, making it the perfect reading snack. So I guess you don't cook it, you just eat it like this. It's just like a dry noodle thingy. Sounds interesting though. We'll try that. Just let, let's try it right now, shall we? hard to say what it tastes like it's, it's not at least it's not really salty thus when you like swallow it it gets kind of hot uh, in your throat but not not too much I'm actually liking this quite a lot mm. Mm. So then we take out the tea. This time we get Twining's Spicy Chai. That's it. Um, the warming flavor of the spices of India. Think cinnamon, clove, ginger combined with the echoes of familiar tea. Oh, okay. Those snacks are already starting to get... <coughs> it's getting hot. So what does it say about the tea? Um, spicy chai. Chai started in India by infusing spices and tea leaves in milk. It's usually a recipe that's been passed down from grandmother to mother to daughter, generation by generation. Each house will have its own chai flavor. This one's our favorite. Okay. Well, we're gonna try that one out too. And then last but not least, we'll see what book we got and it's called Fasting Feasting by Anita Desai. What's how it looks like? What distinguishes Desai's novel from countless other depictions of airless and repressive households in the subtle and original way in which she makes us understand how much of our lives is encoded in and determined by tiny repetitive 
deceptively trivial decisions about what we will and won't eat. These minute quotidian expressions of conflict and concord, preference and identity are omnipresent but easily ignored, nearly invisible but all important in their effect on our relations with one another, on our sense of self and on our very survival. Uh, that's a quote by the New York Times. I'm still not really sure what this book is about though. Okay, we'll just read what it says on the back. Yuma, the plain spinster daughter of a close-knit Indian family, is trapped at home, smothered by her overbearing parents and their traditions. Unlike her ambitious younger sister, Aruna, who brings off a good marriage, and brother Arun, the disappointing son and heir who is studying in America. Across the world, in Massachusetts, life with the Patton family is bewildering for Arun in the alien culture of freedom, freezers, and paradoxically self-denying self-indulgence. I'm actually still not sure what this book is about, though it does sound interesting, it's not too thick, only has, uh, what is it, something more than 200 pages, so this is going to be quite a fast read. I'm looking forward to this, sounds interesting. India is like a country that I've never been to yet, I'd like to visit. But when I think of India, I see like a lot of spices in different colors and just I pretty much smell it. It's like smelling um, so good. But you shouldn't eat too much at once. It gets really hot down your throat. So. <coughs> Maybe you should drink the tea with it since it has, I guess you have to combine it with milk. Yeah, that takes away the burn in the throat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Definitely liking this box. I uh, will eat the snacks now. Get myself a tea. And then I'll read that book and I'll tell you how I liked it. So I'm looking forward to the next box. Excited to see what co country we're gonna go to next. So. Thanks for watching this video. If you like, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.